and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today, I'm going to be ranking all of the confirmed golden ticket selections now. I'm super excited for golden tickets. I really don't know. I don't know what to do. I know I'm gonna need a lot of coins for them, so gotta start selling things in the binder. I know I keep saying it, but I'm gonna do it. Sell some things in the binder. Get rid of some pieces that I don't really need anymore. Get at least the two million coins for the most part because this is gonna cost a lot. But I'm gonna rank them for you guys so you guys can have an idea of what I what I initially think are going to be some of the best ones. Now, there's one guy I'm gonna put in last, and I'm gonna get to that. Now, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm name whoring a bit here, but you know what? I'll stay, I'll stay for ten seconds. Wait, hold up. Guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on you, bell boys. Come join the family. Let's get to at least 22,000 by the time the next Madden comes. So let's keep growing. Let's keep it up. Uh, like the video. That always helps, guys. Likes always help the video. So make sure if you're, you're loyal, you know the gang, comment down below, like the video. And guys, get into this ranking. So coming in last on my list, which I'm not even going to go over too much, is Cravon LeBlanc. Let me be honest with you guys. In my personal opinion, I don't know who this guy really is. I don't know how he is going to make him. But he's not gonna be someone I'm gonna spend two million coins on Cravon LeBlanc. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a name guy. I am. I'm a name guy. Doesn't matter how good he is. I'm a name guy. So for me, that's last. Second to last one, guys, which now I'm gonna start going to the auction box for you guys some cards. Now, this guy right here, I mean, I guess it was like a meme, but I mean, I would have taken a lot of other memes. This card's going to be pretty useless, more than likely. And that's Kelvin Benjamin. There's a golden ticket, Kelvin Benjamin, confirmed. Guys, he's gonna be really tall. He's gonna be slow. He's gonna imagine a tight end. He's gonna be built like a tight end. He's probably only gonna have like a 90 speed, 92 speed max. Probably good catching, great height, maybe good stiff arm and truck, but he's gonna be very, very, very slow. And that's kind of the issue with Kelvin Benjamin. Even in older Mads, he never really had the speed, and nowadays he's kind of more washed. He's not gonna get the speed, and that is just gonna make him pretty useless, in my opinion. And out of all those guys, I was kind of hoping that he'd be one of the better ones. I mean, I was kind of hoping that. The, sorry, that some of the uh, confirmed towards the end would be better, and we got a few guys that I just wasn't really too happy about. And then third to last on the list could be Alvin Gentry. I keep calling him Alvin. I mean Zach Gentry, and it's not because, again, it's not just name based. He's six foot eight, which is great, but I know how EA works, and for a guy with that level of height and so could be how overpowered he's gonna be, they're gonna nerf him in other places. And a lot of people are like he's a 99 overall. They're not gonna nerf him. You know how EA works then. EA, if you have like like guys that have great height. They always give them, make him a little bit slower because you can't give someone with that great of height speed. So probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be on the slower side. His route running probably won't be great because I'm thinking six foot eight guy. I can't, I can't imagine his route running is that great at that height anyways. Can't be exactly the most coordinated man in terms of uh, route running. Probably more of a jump ball type end zone, red zone threat, which I can see, but I'm not paying two million coins for route. I mean, he might be cheaper, but I'm not paying one million coins plus for a red zone threat. I want a all around world player, which I'd probably reserve for quarterback anyways. But those are, my, those are my bottom three so far. It's Cravon LeBlanc, Kelvin Benjamin, and Alvin Gentry. Zach Gentry. Oh my god, I'm never going to get that right. Now, as far as the rest go, you know who I don't think is going to be too great? Which I wanted to be. I wanted him to be better, but I don't think he's going to be that great. And it kind of sucks because there's just, guys, if you've played Madden long enough, you know, every year, there's always a few players that Madden just don't do right that year. I don't know if they're not, they're not like that card, they don't like that guy. But the, the coders, the, the Madden card coach, whoever they are, they never do some certain guys right. And this year has been Ezekiel Elliott. He has not been done right all year. Like, see, I know this is an older card, but his speed's always been below where it should be when those cards come out. He hasn't gotten any cards this year. His speed's been slow, guys. A 99 Ezekiel Elliott probably only has, like, a 93 speed. 94 speed. No joke. 94 speed being the max. It's a 7-speed increase on a 7 overall increase. Usually, it doesn't go 1-to-1 one one like that. So, imagine that on it. He might get a 94 max. 94 max means with Sprinter 96. So he's never going to get 99. He's not going to get 99 speed. He's not going to get 98. He might not even get 97. I think Ezekiel Elliott's going to be one of the... Ezekiel Elliott's going to be one of the worst ones, in my opinion. Just based off of how this game's been making him lately. Now, coming up next, I'm going to have to put this guy here. And I didn't really want to put him here because I am I do like this guy. But the issue with this guy is that he's one of like six quarterbacks coming. So I can... Out of all the quarterbacks, he's definitely towards the bottom for me. And that's Josh Allen. Nothing against Josh Allen, but in terms of a 99, so if you give him plus six here, he's gonna end up with probably like a 90 speed. That's solid, but he won't be the fastest quarterback. He's gonna end up with a 99 throw power. That's solid, but so are most of the other quarterbacks. He's gonna end up with like a 91 throw short, which is solid, but not for 99 overall. His throw mid is gonna be like a 93, unless they're boosted. Right? Let's, let's assume they're not boosted though, because we're not assuming anyone's boosted. 
He ended up with like a 92 mid, which again, solid, but not going to be better than other quarterbacks here. And the throw deep will actually be pretty good, probably like at a 95, 96 after chems. And even that, that's still good, but it's not insane. And then his throw on the wrong will be 99, his play action probably 99. And his throw under pressure probably just break 90. That seems like a very average quarterback. Seems like Vic, Christmas Vic, that seems like 98 Lamar. That seems like a lot of things, but and it's, 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 it's he's worse than all of those guys. So I don't think this Josh Allen will be that great in my opinion. I don't see a way in which he ends up being one of the quarterbacks that I end up choosing. Now, next, guys, we have a ton of quarterbacks in this list. We have a ton of guys, but a guy that I'm not entirely... It's, this one's tough. So I have two guys here. I kind of want to single out Cam Newton. Now, again, I want a Cam Newton. I would love to play with Cam Newton, but I don't think he's going to be all that great. Just for the pure fact that they Cam's another guy, they always get bad throwing stats too. They always kind of underrate. Again, he's not playing too great nowadays, but these cards aren't always based on how they're playing nowadays, like a most feared Cam Newton. But his 99 overall on a plus 8, a plus and a 7, I'm sorry, increase will probably only have like an 88 speed. He'll probably have a 90 throw mid, probably have a 90 throw deep, probably like a 94 throw short, probably 99 throw on the run. It's literally Josh Allen. It's Josh Allen 2.0, but he's going to be slower and his throw power is going to be worse. Essentially, he'll probably still get 99 anyways, though, when you come it up and everything. He's going to be Josh Allen, but probably worse. The only reason I put him ahead is only because I like Cam Newton more, so I feel like, and he's going to have like better off um, all running stats, like juking and trucking and stiff arms. So he's going to have all that stuff, but I don't think Cam Newton's all the way up there for me in terms of rankings. Next on the list, Guys, honestly, I want to be excited for this guy too. I do, but it's going to be the Calvin Johnsons. They're going to be back to back here. Now, Calvin Johnsons could be super fire, super fire, but I have some concerns. So as far as the free safety Calvin goes, I probably wouldn't get him because free safety Calvin's going to have great speed, great excel, great zone, lower hip power, great height. Essentially, every free safety 99 at this point in the year is going to have great speed. He's, they're all going to be the same. He's not going to really stand out. The only thing he's going to have is extra abilities, but I don't even use abilities on a free safety. So that comes into factor too, guys. Guys at weird positions, like let's say, like not weird, but let's say on defense, you like to use all linemen, defensive linemen, maybe a linebacker or a lineman and cornerback. He's going to force you to use him at, at safety and use your abilities there. And you can't say like, oh, I want to use abilities. Well, that's kind of what you're paying for, getting in fourth ability, getting this overpowered card. So it comes down to you're going to lose an ability there too. I'm not a fan of putting my things at free safety. I put them at strong sometimes, but I'm really not a fan of using either safety, although I have. And then as far as the stats, I don't think they're going to stand out too much. And then tight end Calvin. Guys, this card's either going to be one of the best cards or one of the worst cards. So I'm going to put him right in the middle because if EA does this card based off this one, which the issue with this card is that this is a versatile card. I don't know if they'll build it like this, but if they do build it around this one, he could end up with like a 94 speed. And then it's 94 speed with that with sprinter. And if it's not with sprinter, then it'll be 96 speed. Could end up super fast, great catching, decent route running. If they keep it to this standard, this card is going to be one of the glitchiest tight ends in the game because no other tight end will match that speed combo with catching and route running combo with height. No other tight end will probably match that. But again, you have to put your you have to put your ability to tight end, which kind of sucks. So I don't like putting them there. But if EA doesn't do this right and they do them like a real tight end and it's not like this versatile card, they'll end up with probably like a 93 speed, probably like high catch, high 90, mid 90 catching and decent route running like 85, 86, which again, isn't horrible, but it won't stand out enough for me to, to validate him. Cause it's just, and you guys might say they're gonna, like you guys have been saying, they're all 99s, I know, but you have to see, the way EA builds cards is very weird and it's always been kind of annoying to see the way they do it at certain times. Next on the list, I'm gonna go with the guy that you know, I want to like him as well, but it, again, another hit or miss guy. He's left us a linebacker, which is the position I've been waiting for all year. Now, when you compare him though, so let's say, um, okay, I pulled out of a package to disregard that. Actually, you can kind of compare that. But anyway, so um, Brian Burns has good speed, good excel, horrible block shed. Now, I need my outside linebacker to have some block shed. Not to mention, he only works in some schemes that actually have him rushing. Most schemes have Lawrence Taylor rushing, and if you have both rushing, in that terms, you, you need him, but he has low block shed. He's great for Nesgrave. He's kind of like a Julius Peppers. Now, the issue with this card is he obviously has no zone, right? So he's got to be a pure rusher slash run stopper. The issue with this card is he can't really run stop too well. And even So unless you do his block, they'd have to really boost his block shed as his golden ticket type thing. And even with that, he's great height and everything. But in my opinion, he could be really good if they make him super athletic and his block shed gets a big boost. But if his block shed does not get that boost, I can't validate linebackers off block shed in a run heavy meta. Next on the list, Adrian Peterson. Now, again, uh, guys, I love Adrian Peterson. I, don't get me wrong. I'll probably pick him up, put him in a Vikings jersey, and go all day with him. But the issue with Adrian Peterson, which you cannot see as a full one because that is his Christmas card, which I do not actually have. The issue with Adrian Peterson is 
they have not given speed in about like three or four years in Madden. They don't give him speed anymore. So if you have to base it, he probably ends up getting like a 94 speed, just like Ezekiel Elliott. Probably a similar thing to Zeke. And as you guys see here, this Adrian Peterson's almost as fast as Zeke. That's all you gotta know about Zeke's speed. But this this Adrian Peterson is a little bit actually in terms of Zeke, you'll probably get AP Mike at 95. But that'll still only be a 97, which isn't bad, which is why I'll still give him a chance, which is why he's not one of the worst ones. He's actually within like the top six here. But I can't exactly validate him all the way towards the top three because I think he's not gonna have 99 speed, which with guys like Saquon and all these other guys now that that's what you kind of need. Like 99 speed with stats. AP's gonna be super powerful, super elusive. He's gonna have all, the, all these great things. I'm gonna give him all these good stats, but I don't really see him getting the speed. Next on the list is going to come down. So now we're down to, here are the final ones. We got like four quarterbacks here and we got a wide receiver. Now, as far as quarterbacks go, I'm gonna have to go, I'm probably gonna keep the quarterbacks in all the top threes. I really like all three of these quarterbacks. I'm probably gonna put Julio coming in at number three, or number four, I should say. Now, Julio Jones, super, super solid. He's gonna, guys, he's gonna be one of the top weapons. He's gonna be one of the most, one of the most overpowered weapons you've probably ever seen in Madden. This, this, this Julio card's gonna have about a 95 speed with the sprinter, probably 97 speed, close to 98, which is, it's, it's pretty good, but I wish you could get some 99. Gonna have 99 jumping, gonna probably have all 99 catching across the board. When everything's coming up, same with route running minus deep route running. He's also going to have a great stiff arm. Going to have a great juke. I believe he's going to have a great stiff arm, a great juke. Probably going to get evasive. Guys, his abilities probably going to be able to get evasive. Going to get like, I don't even know, human joystick potentially. He's going to get so many good things. This card could be such a versatile weapon that you could use at any point in the field between the 20s, in the red zone, throw it deep, throwing it short, a post. And now he's going to be so versatile, which is why I love him. But guys, moving on to the top three, I believe is what we're down to. These guys just overall are going to be so different. Now, if I had to rank them, coming in number three, I'm going to have to put, oh, this one's so tough. This one's so tough for me because, okay, I want, in my heart, he's number one. He's number one in my heart, but he's going to be number three on this list because I do know, I have some feeling that because he's based off of a modern day type RG3, more so than a flashback RG3, he might not get the love he truly deserves, but an RG3 back in the day would have like 97 speed in this golden ticket. This RG3 probably will only get a 93, which is kind of my issue with him. He's probably going to get a 93 speed max with Sprinter. That's kind of all I'm seeing from him. I don't think they're going to build him an old school RG3, which is what they should have done, who could literally burn the whole field. But this RG3 is going to be great. Gonna have, I think he's going to have really good throw power, good throw deep. He's going to be similar to Josh Allen, but faster, which makes him one of the better quarterbacks on this list. And he's RG3, going to be super fun. Toss him in a Redskins jersey. Hopefully, they give him like an old player build with his dreads and everything. But moving on from him, because I don't want to spend all day on a card. Let's see. The last two. We got two quarterbacks left. Now, for me, I'm going to have to put this card coming in at number number two. Lamar Jackson going to come in at number two. Now, I want to put my one, but again, I just see like there's so much more potential with one last card. Now, this Lamar Jackson. He's going to be super similar to this card, which is why he's not going to be in first either, because he's super similar to this card. Who's going to be who's a lot cheaper, but he will get all the ability slots. This next Lamar Jackson will probably end up with a 96 speed, not going to go up by much. Got to end up with probably like a 90. If, okay, if, if they boost him right, which I'm not going to go over boost here, they could do him really well. But he's going to end up with like a 96 speed, 94 throw power, probably a 96 throw short, 92 throw mid, and a 92 throw deep. And the bottoms will all be 99s with chems anyways. So if they do him right and they give him the throw mid and throw, they give him throw mid and throw power, and maybe like agility, or like, now they can't do agility, but like throw mid, throw power, and throw deep and then max it all out, he could be one of the best quarterbacks in Madden. He has the potential, it's depending on who makes him and how they boost him, but as of now, that card's gonna be a slight upgrade over this one, you're gonna be paying a hefty price for him, you could easily get a more budgety version of him at 827K, that's very similar. So that's my kind of issue with him. Now this next card, guys, might break Madden. He's going to be super good, probably gonna be what everyone has. I did hear we're getting a Michael Vick, and this Michael Vick card could be insane. He could be very insane, and you don't have to power him up, which is the beauty of these cards. This next Michael Vick, He'll have probably, he's going to have a 95 speed. He's going to probably have a 95 or 96 speed. Let's go with 96 speed. Going to have 99 throw power. Going to have 92 throw short. Going to have a 90 throw mid. Going to have a 93 throw deep. As well as a 93 throw under pressure. 97 throw on the run and probably 90 play action. Chemmed up, sprinter and everything with boost, guys. Let me show you what it could look like. With boost and everything, he's probably going to end up with, with sprinting. He's going to have a 97 speed probably. Insane. He's going to have 99 throw power. With boost, if people do him right with mid and short, he's gonna have a 90 like seven throw short, 97 throw mid, as well as with go deep and chemmed up and everything to have like a 97 throw deep. He's gonna have like 97 passing across the board potentially, if done right. 99 throw on the run, chemmed up and boosted, 95 throw under pressure, and not above 90 play action. 
and you combine that with the fact that he has already 95 agility and potentially could get to a 99 with this next upgrade as well as the fact that he gets great elusiveness great ball carry vision great spin great juke gonna be able to get like evasive human joystick potentially gonna get like gunslinger guys gonna be the strongest armed running passing quarterback combo in madden gonna be a mahomes that he's gonna be literally mahomes with lamar's legs gonna be super fun guys that is better for the video hope you guys enjoyed today's video that was me ranking all of the confirmed golden tickets hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below if you guys have any questions or any of your rankings that you want to dispute with me and make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on that noti bell boys come join the family thank you so much for watching i'm out peace